I started my apprenticeship in 1954. I served seven years at learning to pen roll. I'm 81 now and uh, probably one of the few people still working a ruling machine that was mainly used to produce ledgers, cash books and uh, recording books for companies. I think it's very important that the skills that I've acquired should be passed on to another generation. Creative Ireland is supporting this project of a skills transfer programme in which we've got eight people from quite different backgrounds and they're coming here to the museum on a pretty regular basis over about two months to learn from uh, the retired printers and compositors all about the different machines that we have here in the museum. We're going to try to do in two months what it took me seven years to learn. I am one of eight participants in the Creative Ireland program. I'm really excited about um, learning the machines. I, I, I know some of the history about the machines, but I've never operated them myself. So this is a, a peerless platen. It is a, a treadle um, machine, which means that you operate it by your foot, and it's kind of a clamshell press. This particular machine was donated by uh, Thomas McSherry and it is one that he would have used in Guinnesses to print the labels uh, for the different Guinness bottles sent around to the different pubs around the country. There's a tactile nature of working with letterpress. It's, it gives you quality. It's not what you can achieve with computer generation now. The Book of Kells would have been classed as the highest form of communication of its day. Joe Public couldn't read or write. They couldn't understand Latin. So the way they could communicate to the masses was through the awe of colour and through the awe of lettering. So we're just doing that in a modern way now because you don't always have to be looking back to communicate with the next generation. So we're using lettering as a modern art form. Within the, the few weeks of the programme, we're going to start with uh, some of the, a more recent machine, the Vanderpook, uh, and then we're going to move on to the Peerless. The last subject is to do some book binding, and then we're going to end the programme with just a few weeks of practice, where they'll uh, get a chance to actually practice their skills under some guidance uh, from the printers and binders. Printing, I think, is a very interesting confluence of a very structured process, but also very creative elements. So I think that's what's really appealing to me as well, is the fact that it's not totally rigid and defined. There's room for human input into a mechanical uh, output, which is it's quite unique, I think, in a lot of respects. The history of printing just has to continue. I mean, printing was so important to the development of civilization, and I'm proud of it.